definitely has a problem here. Ugh. All right, so we got this hole cleaned up here. This girl, she's doing all right. What we have here is a cow that has started the process of natural shedding, which is Mother Nature's way of self-trimming or releasing any extra hoof. The only problem is sometimes it doesn't work perfectly and sometimes it can leave these gaps that become collection points for stones and debris. And even sometimes it doesn't shed all the way off and becomes an even bigger problem like you'll see on the next hoof. Mama, let's see what's going on over here. Pedro says she's lame on this foot. All right, so this girl definitely has a problem here. She's got lots of overgrowth. It's trying to shed off. Take a peek at it here. So people say, why don't we clean them off before we work on them? And it's not gonna help us at all. First of all, we don't mind getting dirty. Secondly, I'm not going to really worry about this too much until I've done my trim and by then I can see everything. Also we're working with power tools, trying not to get our hands wet, gloves wet. So I'm just going to do my normal trim here first, get everything balanced and proper. These holes are clearly her problem. Easy mama. Ugh. We got some bloody pus coming out. I just wanted to show you guys, this hole goes in quite a ways there. There's a lot of pus in there. Bloody pus. Well, we have to get everything that is loose disconnected out. Wow.
I'd like to point out these knives are extremely sharp. They're actually razor sharp. You could have shaved with them the morning when we started. However, this cow's hoof is pretty tough and the leading factor to hoof hardness is the moisture content and the environment that the hoof is in. So there are two things that have led to her hoof being fairly tough. The first being that this farm beds with sand so the feet are already in a pretty dry environment and the second being that since this hoof has been sensitive for the last few days she's been holding it up in the air a little bit more and it hasn't been in contact with the wet concrete so it's become dried out a little more than normal. I just washed that off so you guys can see it. She has damage to her corium up underneath here. Um, this is dead tissue already that I'm cutting. I have not cut her corium. She's ulcerated so it's bleeding from within. Alright, so we got this hole cleaned up here. This girl, she's doing alright. I mean, yes, yeah, she's got a nasty ulcer. She feels better. The pain has been relieved. Um, it's like opening up a problem on us. It, it, there's going to be instant relief and she's not hurting. She's not kicking or jumping. So you can tell that she's alright. So I'm going to wrap this up with iodine, clean this toe off and throw a block on it. Another question we get asked a lot is why don't we block this hoof and let the glue dry while we're finished cleaning this out. Sometimes I got to get my knife up in here and I don't want that block in my way. Right, we're gonna give that glue just one second. 9022, we're gonna need to put her in the computer. Did you already write it down? The problem? Okay. So we're gonna go to her front left foot. She had abscess there. Wrap it, block it, treat it, check. That report goes to the farmer so that they can keep an eye on her and uh, bring her back for a recheck if need be. I don't think you're gonna need a recheck, big girl. Uh, pretty sure it's gonna recover from that pretty quickly. As bad as it looked, she walks on this block properly. This is gonna be elevated and make a very, very fast recovery. Now, it normally takes a cow a couple steps to get used to and comfortable with walking on the block. And as I was going to show that, I somehow had a camera malfunction where it got focused on the brightness and never changed back. 
So I apologize for that as I was walking her back to the pen. She got better with every step, but my camera never recovered from the brightness. So unfortunately, we have to move on to the next cow, and I will bring you back to this farm in a week or two, and we'll do a follow-up on this girl just so I can show you her recovery. So for anybody thinking maybe if these cows weren't on a big farm they wouldn't have problems like that and actually couldn't be more the opposite. Like I said before, I've been trimming on this farm for 17 years every Monday. This is what we do almost all of the time. We're maintaining them and keeping them like this. That foot that you saw a minute ago, that can happen fast with a piece of gravel getting stuck in the white line working its way up into the corium. But most of our work here is doing maintenance and if it wasn't a big farm, they wouldn't be able to have us here every week doing maintenance on all of their cows. Right, big mama? I just got to the Tuesday farm. I'd like to put the machine in the day before. Got to back. Got to back it in this door. It's pretty tight. There's not very much room. I can't see both sides because the chute's kind of blocking my way. So the way that I know but I'm not gonna hit this side is if I'm really, really close to this side. We'll throw the camera on the gates here. That's sticking out. If I'm sticking out more than an inch, you guys are gonna get hit. There, now I got you mounted flush with the gates. close but it's the only way I can do it is by watching that this side is almost touching that door there you guys go all clean ready to start a new day Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, catch you on the flip flop. Bye.